I'm here for Web V Guide and I'm Susan E. Clark and I am here with Kate Cottrell from Late Bloomers and we are at Sicily Web Fest. How are you enjoying it? I'm having a great time. It is a wonderful, beautiful, isolated little place, isn't it? It's it's in the middle of a foresty water it's in area. The middle you of just <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> it's no, beautiful. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I feel like I surely I'll win an award for coming all the way from Los Angeles. I would hope to so. To the beautiful island of Ustica. Yes. I hope so. What was your journey? Because I heard it was it was three different sections? Yeah, now my neighbor who's like really good at making plane reservations, she came over and she booked my travel right. and I can't remember if there was like at one point she said, do you want to do it all in one big thing or do you want to break it up so it's manageable? And right. I think I said I want to break it up, yeah. but no, that was a mistake. <laughs> Never again. Never. Never again. No, no, I want one big long thing and then a little flight over to Ustica really? or, you know, or boat or whatever. Excellent. Anyway. What is it that you're here for specifically? My series is covers my experience learning to grow my own food in the city of Los Angeles. I took out my grass and my bushes and planted food there and I haven't looked back. Fantastic. And that was four years ago yeah. and I have 93 episodes online wow. and I am very proud of the, myself that I have created um, inspired people all over the world really I mean I get contacted by all ages mm -hmm. I have 15 year old followers yeah and I have well I have children watching with their parents yeah and I have teenagers watching and I okay. have middle age and old age so your target old age audience is genuinely the whole circle it's g-rated <laughs> yeah I mean I want to inspire young people with children yep. to, to learn how to grow their own food mm -hmm. and I want to inspire late bloomers who yes. always wanted to do this and never no. thought they could do yep. it oh I've got a black thumb I'm, no 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 one has a black thumb no one has a green uh, yep. everyone has a green thumb it's yep. all a question of getting your hands in the dirt and getting excited about it and getting passionate because it's once you miss it's right. a big myth. Total myth. Total myth. Once okay. you put your hands in the dirt, you are forever changed. This series and Growing My Own Food has changed my life. Fantastic. I am an actor by profession, mm -hmm. but this is something in addition to my career. Yep. And I have found my passion, and I'm able to use, through Late Bloomer, I'm able to use all of my talents from I'm a photographer, I'm an actor, on camera, mm -hmm. spokesperson, and a uh, producer. So. Yeah. So you're multi-talented, green-loving, <laughs> late bloomer. Is that what you're telling me? I, I, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. You know, it's, we're going to have to start finding, you know, we have everybody in the business, in the business, mm -hmm. is an, either an actor, director, filmmaker, this or that, but content creator really has to have a place in that now mm -hmm. because there's so many talented people that are creating their content for the web. Yeah. And... Um, there, that's just as legitimate as making your own film. Definitely, you know, absolutely. Or TV show. But this is what festivals are for. Right. It's make making those connections, making connections. sure that you're doing. And I heard a little rumor that you're doing something rather secret while you're here. What is that? Well, can I ask? Can I ask? Is it it is top secret. Is it top secret? It's not top secret that we're doing it. It's what we're doing what, is top secret. Right, okay. Can I, can I not have a little exclusive quickly for my family? Well, <laughs> like you said about connections, as I met Changor Dobrotka and his partner, who's not here at this festival, in Vancouver, mm -hmm. at Vancouver Web Fest, where Late Bloomer was in competition, and so was his series called Number of Silence, yes. which is a sci-fi uh, Extravaganza. Well, no, <laughs> Let me say it right. Okay. It's a thriller with sci-fi elements. Right. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> and once I saw it, I mean, we connected, you know, like BFFs right mm -hmm. away. We were just like hung out all the the whole festival together. But once I saw his series, I said, "This is really high quality, and mm -hmm. I want to work in it as an actor." Yeah. So. Can you please write me a part? Oh, and so we were goodness. just talking about someday I may go to Germany yeah. and and write me in or whatever. And when I saw that he got into this festival, mm -hmm. I let, I said, well, I'm coming. Yes. You know, let's you've do been it. Filming. Have you been filming while you've been here? No, but we will be. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we have yeah. to look out for that. Yeah. Nice collaboration, definitely. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited about it. If there was one thing that you had to tell Web V Guide and their viewers, just one thing about web series, what would it be? About web series? Mm -hmm. Just do it. Just do it. Perfect. That's what I would do. I would just, if you have an idea, 
it, I mean, it can be as crazy as you're like, this is, these are my favorite nail polishes. I mean, it doesn't <laughs> matter what it is. Just as long line, as, as, long you as you're, pa you're passionate about it and you have, you know, you're, you're, you do a good enough production value so that you get noticed. Perfect. You Thank know? you so much you're for welcome. spending your time with me. Thank you, Thank Susan. You. <laughs>